journeys exploring the unknown. This is my story. This is my mysterious friend Diana. And this is our other friend in exploration, Anna. We are the explorers. Here is uh, an entranceway to an area. We're just entering our first journey. It is a cemetery. And as you can see, it is known for its dangers. Now here's the caretaker's shed, very old style. As you can see, we can already open the one door. There seems to be a lock on it. I guess we are shite out of luck and won't be able to open this old door. Give me a clue now. Oh, I guess we can get inside. It's just a little scary. Notice the unusual architecture in here. Here we have leftover old flowers in a case. God knows where. Here's an odd discovery. Something odd to be found here. Lord only knows why this is here, but it's been there a long time. So we get the hell out. Here we are going around the aforementioned shed. More of the attractive items around. Here we have a fence gate. Looks securely locked. Trying to find a way out. Trying to find a way to open the gate so we can get through. And there's my mysterious friend again in her natural habitat. Seems I found my way out. Now here we have an odd outhouse. Windows all broken, paint totally peeling off. And here is Anna looking into the old-fashioned porta potty. Isn't that lovely? Lovely little hole. Well, might as well make use of it. Now that's creepy. There's an old tractor who knows if it's still working. We travel onward. We see this nice assortment of structures. But there's an electric fence as you can see. And a dog was barking in the distance. So, I guess we should have maybe listened to this. But, you know us. We're explorers. And we like the abandoned. This is what we think of that. And now, we're heading for the bridge. Journey for the bridge. Friends Diana and Anna, respectively. There we are all together. Taking a minute to pause. And here we find a tire filled pond. Dare we call it that? It's just this one little area. I hope nothing has been drinking from that. That would be horrid. And here we have found the bridge, looking down upon the tracks. And here's Diana, who has visited this bridge many times. Here's we two, Anna and myself, Brit Wigger, on the bridge. There's Anna being a little daring, getting a little higher up on the bridge. You see the sun slowly going down. This is me by the pond, if you will, earlier. We're looking upon the green fields. And there are the tracks behind her. And now to the caves. This is where Diana has also gone. Involves a little bit of crevice traversing, a little hiking. You can see some of the caves right from there. The question is to get to it. See some of the fine rock work here. The branches are way out over the water. And 
and there's Diana getting lost doesn't know how to get down all the way and here we find one of the caves in which Anna is looking in and now here's me with my big wood there's some more rock work and here's the cave again I think I'll try to get up in there and I barely fit in there it's, it's a tight squeeze but it does in a pinch lie down it's much easier and here I am just lying prone and here I am rather dead seemingly here's some of the hill work little tiny caves and then the old abandoned house, the old abandoned house. That's for later. That's for later. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa.